Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today I'm going to show you a man's gun. This is truly a man's gun. It's a revolver. I'm going to get there. But first I want to define what a man is because there are some people out there who have trouble differentiating the difference between a man and a woman. Not TFG. A man is strong, both mentally and physically. A man can handle heavier loads in various guns than others. We know that there are training guns, some low power, low recoil guns, good for training, first time shooters. Some guns are marketed toward women with pink, yellow, green coloring to it. They're trying to gather that market share of gun buyers. But then there's a man's gun. A man is strong. A man is physically strong. But sometimes it's not always noticeable. You can see a guy at the gym that, that looks big and burly and they, they put on just a little bit of weight and struggle with it. They're flabby. But then you see some wiry guy who looks like he doesn't have any strength at all, and he's just killing it. Super strong. Those are the type you have to be, be aware of. They, they are super strong. So sometimes it's hard to spot, but when you have a man's gun, it defines what we love about firearms in many ways. Here's an example. Here's a Desert Eagle, Chamber and 50 Action Express. I love this 50 action express huge round huge recoil it flips up the muzzle quite a bit i asked my wife once do you want to try it i will be right there with you she said no i don't want anything to do with that desert eagle and i didn't blame her and here's another one this is a man's gun chamber in 4570 another magnum research bfr big frame revolver 45, 70, single action only. This thing is a man's gun. One more example that I'm going to get to the gun I'm featuring. Here is an FK Bernal with the 7.5 FK round. That is a hot load. It's spicy. It's a man's gun. That thing is traveling at rifle speed out of a handgun like this. But what I'm about to show you is I considered a man of man's guns and it's a handgun it's a revolver let's get over to the table and we're going to talk about it after all that ranting here it is it's a smith and wesson case pretty sure many of you know what it is but let's check this out because this has been around a while and what do we have here it's a man's gun a smith and wesson 500 magnum check that out this is a beast of a load. It's a huge, huge revolver. It's called the X-Frame. It's so large. And then you look at the cylinder. It's a five-shot, 500 Magnum. And Smith & Wesson says this is the most powerful production revolver in the world today. And this is one of the smaller ones. Many of them have huge barrels. This has a four-inch compensated barrel. And for you guys out there that think comps are new, you're starting to see them all over the place with semi-auto handguns. This has been around for a long time. And this comp is even removable by a hex key that goes in that bolt there. You, you turn it a couple times, it rolls right out and it has another compensator right here. One's for jacketed bullets, the other's for lead bullets. But the Smith & Wesson 500 has been around a while. It, it's a huge round. Many people would say that's a barrel load, and they're not wrong. It, it, it would take down any game in the U.S. There's no doubt about that. It's a heavy load. It's, it's a beautiful shooting revolver. I've shot this before and absolutely loved it. And I actually thought about getting one, and right around the same time, because it's been about 12 years since I shot it, right around the same time, the Kiappa Rhinos came out, and then I was going back and forth with which one I wanted, and I ended up with neither. But there was a time when a lot of people loved these. They said, I want to get my hands on one of those. Those are great. And the the revolver itself is uh, the MSRP, $1,639. In the mid-1500s is what it's going to run you. And you look at the... Four, Smith & Wesson 460 models, the, the 454 Casuals, the, well, they make another one in 350 Legend, like this. Okay, that, that's cheap ammo. You look at the one I showed you with the 4570 Government, there are many options now. And the other ones are extremely powerful as well. So it just 
took away a little bit of the luster that this had when it was created. And then you look at the price of the ammo and it is very high. Some of the heavier loads are over $5 a round. You can get them as low as two bucks a round, all right? But it's not going to be easily found at your gun store, all right? Adjustable rear sight. You can see the ramp front. It's got a beautiful single action trigger. And that is just so nice. Double action. Not too bad. It's got the Hillary hole in there. Not a fan of that. But it's a, it's a nice looking revolver. You can see it says Smith & Wesson 500 right there. I don't know if that, that'll show up. It's a beautiful revolver. It's a heavy duty revolver. Now, who would want this? You say, well, I don't live in bear country. I'm not worried about a moose attacking me. I'm not wor worried about Godzilla coming out of nowhere. Who would want this? Well, if you are into the heaviest round possible out of a revolver, then that's why. <laughs> if you're into that, that's why I'm into Desert Eagles. I would love to own this. I don't own this. But if I did, I'd choose this one because that compensator makes a difference. And when you fire it with that comp on there, it's really not that bad. And then you just put that single action trigger there. It is really nice. So this is a man's gun. It's a man, manly man's gun. If you're a manly man, then perhaps you would like this gun. But it's pretty awesome. It's a Smith & Wesson 500. They have five or six models of these. I like the, the four-inch barrel with the comp. I think it's cool. And I think if you ever get a chance to shoot one, you should. But be ready to cough up some money for the ammo because it ain't cheap. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.